breeding of silver spurs. Have you ever wondered how Santa Claus comes down your chimney to leave all those nice gifts and toys? Well, wonder no more, but gather around, for I have a story to tell. You see, a long time ago, everyone had a fireplace to keep them warm and to cook their food, and every fireplace had a chimney. Once a year at Christmas, Santa came down those large chimneys with treats and toys for girls and boys in many lands. But then came a change in the times when most people built their homes without fireplaces and large chimneys. This made that large chimney get smaller and smaller and sometimes there was no chimney at all. Now this made Santa very worried and sad. How could he take gifts and toys to all those little girls and boys if they didn't have a large chimney for Santa to come down? Just last year, Santa got stuck in a red brick chimney that was too small. Santa grunted and wiggled, but couldn't get out. Santa's reindeer came to the rescue. They pulled and tugged and tugged and pulled and got him free at last. However, much time was lost and part of the seat of Santa's pants. Those narrow chimneys presented Santa with some very serious problems. Everyone knows that Santa has reindeer, and everyone knows that Santa has elves. But not everyone knows that this biggest problem of Santa's was solved by his smallest elf, Silver Spurs. Silver Spurs was so small that when the Mama doll didn't say Mama after it was all put together, he could slip in between the seams and fix it. But Santa's other elves were so efficient, Silver Spurs had little to do. The other elves wouldn't let Silver Spurs help make the toys. They thought he was too small and would only get in their way. Even so, he sometimes went about checking out the toys, trying to find something wrong. And when he couldn't, this made the other elves laugh with glee. All this work made Silver Spurs tired. He often curled up in a cozy spot to take a long nap. Silver Spurs had bells up one sleeve of his shirt and down the other. These bells would tinkle when, even when Silver Spurs slept. He also had an emblem on his shirt that glowed brightly. The tingling bells and the bright emblem helped make it possible for the other elves to find him. Only when the elves had a special job did they wake him. To wake him, they had to douse him with water. Then like a streak of silver, for he was as fast as the hooves of Santa's reindeer, he did his task so that he once again could sleep. Silver Spurs was also one of Santa's smartest elves. He seemed to learn as he slept. Even as people went from fireplace to large chimney, to cook stove and furnace, Santa and his elves went from mama dolls to dancing dolls, and from cast iron wagons to cars with sealed in motors. It always made Silver Spurs very happy when he could help Santa and the other elves. Now Silver Spurs loved to snuggle in Santa's soft beard and take his nap. Sometimes when Santa laughed, if you would had been there and listened carefully, you might have heard the little bells tingle. And Silver Spurs chuckled too. On the day before Christmas, Santa was sitting in his big chair, and Silver Spurs was napping in Santa's soft beard. Santa was pondering the problem of the narrow chimneys. The more Santa thought, the more sad he became. And then a tear rolled down his cheek and into his beard. And out jumped Silver Spurs. 
After Silver Spurs wiped his eyes with the back of his hands, he noticed Santa's long face, long sad face, and asked, Why, Santa? What's the matter? Santa brushed another tear from his eyes and said, said, said sadly, You remember last year when some of the toys were late be, being delivered? And one little girl didn't get her sewing kit because it was needed to mend my the pants I would tour? I don't know what we're going to do about those narrow chimneys. Seeing how sad the Santa felt, Silver Spurs shook his little bells, sat down on Santa's finger, and thought and thought. Then, when with a ting twinkle in his eye, he jumped up and cried, Santa, I have the answer. Why not take me along to slip down those narrow skinny chimneys and flip through or flip through the keyhole in the doors? Then I can open the door and let you in. When Santa heard this, he raised his eyebrows and with a big smile exclaimed, That's it, Silver Spurs, that's it. Let's be on our way. The toys are ready and the children are waiting, and off they went to deliver the many toys for the little girls and boys. So if you live in a house with a rather large chimney, or with no chimney at all, and have wondered how Santa got into your living room on Christmas Eve, you got to know that Silver Spurs, the smallest of elves, was there. And on Christmas Eve, if you see what might think of a falling star, just wave your hand and shout, Cheery, Hi there, Silver Spurs, Merry Christmas. The End <laughs>